Just getting ready, guys. Okay, should we get going on this thing? I can't turn off my banners. Oh, nope, almost. <laughs> I don't have my screen up. Oh my goodness. Hold on. There we go. How unprofessional is this? My goodness. Hello, everybody. <laughs> My camera's way off, too. And you can't see me. There we go. Okay. We're almost ready. <laughs> Sorry, new rig. New rig, new rig. Okay. Is this working? Let me go just a titch higher. Nope, that's that's what. Oh, don't touch anything. It's gonna break. We're gonna break. New rig, new system. Oh my goodness, what a sh Hello, everybody. Yes, Squid Tank. How's it going? Bacon bolts. Am I? I'm loving the new rig. Um, I haven't really pushed it as much as I've wanted to yet, as I've been building. A 3d printer um, still building it still taking forever oh my goodness uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. much rumbling nonsense pay no attention to the man behind the curtain um, oh my goodness my Wacom pen settings mm hmm wake on okay so hi guys how's it going I'm so excited Let me know if you guys can hear me. Uh, I'm on a whole new rig, so I'm actually on new internet. So hopefully everything should be faster. Um, Blands, the red bird. Um, I'm, I'm back for this one week. Uh, hopefully it's, it's, I'll be back maybe in June. Um, just getting things going. And... Uh, Hopefully the internet, let me know if the internet is shaky or laggy or anything. Hopefully it's not too laggy. If not, I'll change some of the settings and try to get this a little bit more buttery smooth. Um, again, new internet, so hopefully it's it's actually working. And if it's not, let me know if it's laggy. I will all oh, get those guys so bad. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Yes, the Illuminati is still watching. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. The audio sounds just fine. All right, good, good. Um, I've got some nice jazz in the background or blues. Um, I'm gonna close the door. Okay, if the door opens, I'm gonna flip out. Um. Thank you, Artist Future. That's, yes, the PC life is great. They're great. The courses are coming along really nicely. Um, a little bit slower as I've been trying to play. Let me give you, do you guys want a tour of my new rig? Let's get, let's get a tour. Actually, let's. Wicker, wicker, wicker. 
There we go, the nerd glasses. Um, okay, so what's the best way to skinny jeans? It's all I know. Um, <laughs> Estonia, that's awesome. I would imagine that they are probably hard to come by. Okay, let's do a new, let's do a, oh my goodness, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Okay, let's do a tour of the new rig. Or just bear with me. Okay, so this right here, this is my printer. It's not done. It's most, it's mostly done. Um, the Prusa MK or I3 MK2S, which is the latest model. Uh, they were nice enough to send me the upgrade. Uh, this is this is my computer setup. You can't see that. My wall, if you see, like all my pictures have fallen down. I need to get those back up. But we've just we're just worrying about all these other things. Anyways, yellow. So we've got the the rig, the nice mic setup, the 4K monitor, the Cintiq, um, the. Now this is this is the pretty thing. This is my computer. This is Isabel. So she's great. You know, she's got all sorts of fun things. Like we can change her colors. Um, I put extra LEDs in there actually, as I, you know, <laughs> I like to control. You know, if I'm gonna make this thing, I'm gonna make it like a freaking Christmas tree. And so I did. It, it runs very smoothly. I've got um, many 64 gigs of RAM, um, a 1080, uh, a GTX 1080 NVIDIA card. Um, I have the new AMD um, 1800X. Just getting that. Getting you guys back in, in the spotlight. Um, Anyways, so it's got the new AMD Ryzen um, set up there, and it's beautiful, and I love it. So that's that's where we're at. So tonight, gasp, <laughs> yes, the case is is overkill <laughs> for sure, and it's all everything's all liquid cooled. Um, and it's a beaut. I, I still need to customize some things to get it quite up to to where I want it. Um, you know, switch some things with the outside fans because they run at full speed when they really don't need to. Um, so just to, to cut down on some of the noise on those fans. A couple of the fans I've already replaced with magnet bearings. So they're actually floating and don't make any sound, which is very fun. Um, I guess that's just what we're gonna get. Anyways, um, let me know if that sound, if the music in the background starts getting annoying, because um, I can't really hear it the way that you guys hear it, probably. Anyways. Um, okay, da -da 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 -da. you probably really only need 16 gigs of RAM, to be honest. The, <laughs> I mean, especially working in ZBrush, it's not like you're gonna, you're gonna, die with 16 gigs. I was working with 8 gigs of RAM pretty much my whole life. Um, and now it's just buttery smooth when I do it. And I mean, this isn't a high poly model at all, but um, if we load, I can't load up that, never mind. Um, maybe I can, but we're chugging around with this dude. Um, and like, I couldn't even turn it because I had poly paint on and I had fiber mesh and there's like no lag at all. I mean, this guy isn't high at all still, but like because of the, the dailies here, it was, it was dying. Um, anyways, let's get going. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've seen Vitaly's setup and his, he's got a mind blowing setup. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could upgrade to that. That's awesome. Um, 
Da, 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 da. Yes, the case is so sexy. So sexy. Okay, so today what I wanted to do, um, I could continue on with the zombie hunter that we that we were making last time, but I actually thought it might be fun to kind of do just a, a quick sculpt today. Um, there's a couple cool concept images that I saw that I found. Uh, this one is by Javier Bur Burgos. Um, he's got some... He's, he's a really great concept artist. Uh, just something that we could... I like the style, the stylization of this quite a bit and thought that it would be fun to just mess around with it in 3D. Um, or, or, I can make, uh, try to get as far as I can with this girl, this really push stylized Wonder Woman. Um, so I'll do whatever you guys want. Um, or I'll just do whatever I want, which is kind of what turn what it will turn out to be anyways. I'm going to make some adjustments here. This thing, I am too big. I am not the focus. The brush is the focus. And I am just a muse in the background. Um, I apologize for that. So let's see, do you guys care what I do the first one? I think I, I think I want to do the first one, the Jack Skellington, for sure. Um, anyone else? Da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. I think I'm going to do the Jack Skellington, because there's a lot of things we could do with this. Um, using some cool... <laughs> Robert so hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's do this one let's do jack um because he's got some cool thicknesses uh and i just love jack skillington you know i'm i'm you know i love disney i, I don't think there's ever going to be a part of me that doesn't always want to be at disney um i actually just got back from disney world with my wife we celebrated our 10 year anniversary um, so let's start this anew. Let's pull up our reference. Um, actually, because it's got some colors, let's just take it into Photoshop real quick. I'm gonna go into the Photoshop. Oh my. That's gross, Peter. <laughs> hey, thank you. Yeah, so we went down to Harry Potter World, and I've never been to Harry Potter World, and we're huge Harry Potter fanatics. Um, actually, it's not in there. Not in there either. And so we went and just hung around Harry Potter World and just had the best time in the world with no kids around. Um, oh goodness, what am I doing? I'm made of stone. So I'm just quickly uh, going around this dude with a lasso and then we're going to fill it with a black okay crop this off I'm not worried about cancel actually I want to change this so the levels aren't going to be black. Just lightening him up. This is just so he doesn't have any pure blacks. And the only black is what's going to be alpha out pretty much. 
change it to a JPEG. Paper sketches. <laughs> yes, I, I'm cheating. <laughs> okay, so that is all we need. Um, whoa. Don't save. Don't really need Photoshop open. Um, gonna make this polymesh a 3D. And now I'm going to bring in that uh, this image we just made into Lightbox. Okay. Um, so a little more update before this. What did I just do? Matt, this is going to be the first time um, seeing how to set up a reference in ZBrush. Teach me. Okay, let me slow that down again. So what I did to explain, this is for Peter. Um, what I did before anything is, is in Photoshop, I, I made all the image that I didn't want to see pure black. Um, and then I just saved that out as a JPEG, a standard JPEG. And then texture, I imported that new image that has black. And anything that's pure black is going to be transparent. And yeah, so I import the image as a texture. Add it to this. So I click on it and then just hit that add button. And that will automatically pop up your, your light box. And then this little pinwheel here is how you control this. So basically I just, you got your rotate, your scale, your you can pin it, your spotlight radius, um, and your opacity. These are the kind of the big ones you're gonna learn to use. Mainly I just go to scale. Um, you see that it has a little bit of cracky wear around and I can change that by changing, I think the intensity and just roll, no, not the intensity I want. Saturation, something. Oh, there we go. Actually, I wasn't doing it. Um, let's go back to intensity. So click on that, and if I just drag that a little bit, it kind of gets rid of anything, all those crackies. Um, and you need to just drag it one way or the other. And then I'm gonna scale it down, and not just by clicking and rotating on this, and then inside here, inside the circle, not this circle, because this will just move where the radi the menu is, but inside this circle will actually, oops, um, change where I am. So I'm just gonna put it up there in the corner. If I wanna change the opacity, you know, just bring that down a little bit. Maybe I want it not 100%. Um, and then once that's set, I hit Z, and that takes away the menu. So if I want to bring it back, just hit Z again, and that will toggle the menu system on and off, the pin light, the pin spotlight menu, um, or the spotlight menu. Uh, and then the last thing you have to remember is go to Brush, Samples, and then make sure you turn off spotlight projection or certain brushes won't work like the smooth brush um, some of the texture brushes just won't work and the painting brushes just won't work okay i've got to change this music this music's killing me dun, 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 dun. thank you for bearing with me anyways 
Okay, so that's and that's just how you set this up. Um, the stream cut and play. Am I the only one having that problem? So okay, so there's some lagginess going on. Is that what we're seeing? Okay, I might try to change one of the settings. Let's see if I can. If this dies, I apologize. Ooh, I can't change any of the video settings. Okay, if you guys are still having problems, um, if anyone else is getting that cutting off and playing, let me know and I'm gonna change it. There's a couple of the settings I can change to try to stream a little bit clearer. Um, just drops frames every now and then. Ooh, the cam is freezing sometimes, huh? Is this freezing too? Um, Um, if you guys bear with me, I'm going to try to change a couple of the settings. The audio is fine. The video seems to pause every second. Okay, let me just change one of the settings and I'll be right back. I promise I would never leave you guys. Unless something...